it's a riding sport and not a horsing sport and we all need to become riders with a capital R. So I just basically got on and we got the cameras working and everything like that. So I want to go through a little bit kind of my rider checklist for my lower body. Like what do I uh, do when I first get on to make sure I'm showing up in the best way for my horse? A lot of times, and um, I think there's already a video in the academy about the stair step. Um, and we'll go through some things also eventually what you can do off the horse to improve your um, riding abilities uh, off the saddle. Um, but once we get on, I uh, get a lot of help from Susanna Van Dietz, who's amazing. Um, we're going to share more things about her uh, and with her in this academy. But one of the first things I always want to do is number one, walking around just without stirrups. I think it's so important because everything in our life, in our daily life, is about shortening, right? Like we sleep kind of short, we drive our cars with this angle of our body, you know, really kind of short. And so one of the best things you can first do, there's also a video with Fiji riding without stirrups, but even just when you first get on, you know, just to take five minutes or whatever while he's walking around on the buckle, to be able to think about your legs long, 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 right? Does this kind of sink in and sync up with his motion? A couple of things to always remember. You want to always keep your toe flexed upward so that the back of your uh, calf can be long and toned. That's actually how we get a long leg, by being able to bring that toe up. The next thing I want you to think about is being able to let your let your thigh hang away from the knee roll nowadays we've got these big um saddles you know with a lot of knee roll but that doesn't mean we should be like shoved up and held in the position by that knee roll it's okay that the saddle guides you into a good position but just like anything we can't be reliant that something else besides our own body is doing it for us you know that just then becomes a bit of a crutch so thinking about being able to let your legs uh, pull out of your torso. There's a lot of small um, muscles and ligaments and fascia and everything in the, in the pelvic girdle that has to kind of release the femur and release the hip um, to be able to have that elongated leg we're all looking for. And so again, I think it's also good to do some ankle circles both in and outward to supple the ankle because that is one of the chief areas of the absorption of the trot. Yeah.